Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to add icons in the Flutter. We are inside the section 2 and we are about to create our third video which is to add icons in the Flutter. Basically there are two types of icons that we are going to talk about. The first ones are the default icons that material or the Flutter provides which are the material icons. And the second one are the font of some icons. These icons basically are not by default added in the Flutter. So we will add a dependency and then we will learn how to use these font or some icons and also we are going to talk about the flutter icon button. As in previous video we learn how to add image in the flutter using both assets and the network uh, from your own project or from the internet. So I suggest you to please watch the previous video if you are new and if you are new to this playlist I suggest you to watch from the section 1 link is down below in the description and also you can get from the right top corner so let's get started with the project open android studio and we are inside the project we created for this course so we learn how to create all these things and the specifically for the previous tutorial we learn how to add these images in the project and also added it in the pubspec.gml so let me just remove the code so far I consider that you know about this scaffold and also the stateless widgets how we divide our code in the dashboard. If you still don't know please watch the previous videos it's just a matter of few minutes. So okay let's get started with the icon. So for the icon uh, as we have to pass the widget to the body so it can be anything. So for now I'm pasting this icon widget. For this icon widget you just have to remember one thing that it's not start end with the S. It's a singular, it's not plural. So when I'm going to talk about this icon, this means that this is a widget. And now inside this widget, we have to pass either material icons or the font or some icons. So let me first pass the material icons because they are by default added in the project. So for the material icons, you just have to write icons with the S dot and in here we can select our own icon and for this tutorial let's just select this one and we have few other properties specifically for this icon widget so add a comma in here to check all the properties you can press control space and you can see all the properties listed which are not yet added in the project so let me add a size of the icon android let's again press control space let's add a color we know how to add a color it's colors dot light green accent and also let me add background color to our application in the scaffold and also to align your code press ctrl alt l and it will format our code like this and remember if you don't have any commas at the end and you try to align the code and it will align like this so make sure you have comma at the end of every bracket again press it and it will be aligned like this Okay, now let's try to run the application and in here you can see we have an icon added it's right there now we have to make it a center and also here's a quick tip that if you, we want to wrap any widget inside another widget we forgot to add previously so how we can wrap it for example i want to add center widget and wrap this icon inside the center so i will not write center and then cut and copy paste it inside it so to do that you can just click on this widget press alt enter and we will have these few options you can also click on this bulb icon and one more method is right click on this icon and click on this show context actions and it will bring up this container and with the beautiful options so let's say i want to wrap it with the center alt enter and wrap it with center and if you don't have any widget uh, with you want to wrap click on this widget and change the name of the widget so i'm going to wrap it with the center you can see it's added a child here and wrap it inside this center save our project and our icon is in the center now what if we want to make it a clickable so to make this icon clickable we need the icon button so to add the icon button let's again click on this icon i'm going to press alt enter and this time i don't have any icon button widget so click on this wrap with widget and I'm going to add icon button widget and it instead of this child it has the icon property and also inside this icon widget we have to add as it's a button so this error is because we did not add the on press property so we just have to declare the 
on press property this is a function and inside this function we are not going to pass anything so let it be empty for now okay as you can see our application is running and when I'm going to press this you can see a clickable is at the center of the screen but our icon is not inside that clickable it's because we have added a size and the color to this icon but not to icon button so let me just cut it from this icon when we are using the icon button we have to add size and the color to icon button which is the recommended let's paste it here change the size to icon size and now let's try to save our application and you can see that icon has been changed and when I'm going to click on it you can see it's right in the middle and we can also do much more things with the icon button for example again press control space and we will have a list of options that we can do with this icon button let's add a splash color let's try to run the application and now this time you can see it's a more wide when I'm trying to click on my icon and also we have a highlight color let's run it and this time you can see when I'm going to click on this it become red so these are the options that we can do with this icon button now we learned icon button and icon which is the material design so now what if we want to change it to font awesome icons so minimize it add towards the pub spec .yml. And in here, let me quickly remove all these comments. Okay, now inside this pubspec.yml, we have to add a dependency which is the font awesome flutter. So, to add the dependency, we have two methods. The first one is open your website, and this is the pub.dev package that we have to add in our application. So, the first thing is head towards this installation and simply copy this one, open your pubspec.yml file in the Android Studio and paste it right there right below this flutter inside the dependencies make sure that you have two spaces uh, after the dependencies under the dependencies like same way Cupertino icons have been added so this is the one way so for example I want to add this font or some flutter using the terminals you can use both techniques so in here we have to write flutter pub add and next we have to paste the dependency that we want to add in the project hit enter and it's downloading font awesome change one dependency and you can see on the top it's added so this is how we add any dependency inside our project so click on this pub get minimize this head toward the dashboard so for example this icon button now requires a widget which is the icon widget so we pass the icon widget now inside what we want to add is either a material icon or the font or some icon so for this time I'm going to add font or some icons this was the material icons you remember and now let me add font or some icons dot so this is a list of icons that we can add using the font or some icons so let's just select one which is boxes maybe let's run the code and in here you can see that we have a cross sign in a box this means that our icon or the font or some icon didn't load so how we can do that we just have to stop our application here head towards the tools go to flutter and clean the flutter first because flutter mostly load data from the cache so we don't want to load it from the cache so once we clean our data you will see a bunch of errors don't have to panic again go to tools flutter and click on flutter pub get and it is going to add the refresh dependencies and data so our errors are gone we have the new dependencies now let's run the application again okay here we have to wait a bit because on the first install flutter takes a bit of time okay so our application is running and you can see the icon with the same click effect everything is working very fine let me change the size of the icon and you can see we change the icon it still have this click effect and all the functions of this icon button is working and also we can still add the properties of this widget which is the icon widget so it don't have any concern with which icon we are using either its material either its font awesome or any other or we can also use the custom 
custom widgets using the fonts properties we will cover in our next section so stick together in our next tutorial which is the container tutorial we are going to create a very nice container it will include icon it will include image and it will include shadows borders border radius and bunch of things that we are going to need in our every application while creating the flutter application so again that's it for this tutorial. If you learn something new, please like the video. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe it because more awesome videos are coming. Thank you for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.